You sure you don't want McDonald's? Alright, I'm just gonna... Do you want anything else? Like, I'm going to Walmart. I'm actually not going to Walmart. I'm going to Best Buy because I just found out that iPad Pros are on sale for like $280 off. Best Buy's not open. But there is a Walmart next door and I am hungry so maybe I will... Maybe I will go to Walmart. So I just got done eating my healthy and nutritious breakfast, which I got at Walmart, so I'm not lying to my wife. The only person I'm really lying to is myself, I think. But, um, I think in the end I'm just going to fess up to her and tell her what I did. I, I won't be able to hide it from her for very long, she's going to notice, so better come clean, right? I'm super excited, like I said, I've been hearing some amazing things. A lot of professionals are kind of um, going the, the iPad route for getting their design work done quickly and I'm, I'm very curious to see how it performs. Um, my biggest concern right now really is, you know, in an hour I'm gonna essentially have two pieces of hardware that do essentially the same thing. And um, part of the reason why I wanna get this too is a lot of you guys have been asking about, you know, is the iPad Pro a viable solution um, for a professional or, you know, a beginner or a professional? And we'll find out. From what I've been reading online, it totally is. It's kind of um, a shift from your your standard PC-centric kind of tablet. Um, it runs on iOS, which is not as powerful. But you know there are some negatives and there's some positives to that as well. It doesn't heat up as much. Battery lasts longer. It's a completely different technology. Like the pen input is completely different from the Wacom um, stylus. So I'm curious to know how that performs as well. A big reason why I want to, I'm really interested in this as well is um, I commute to work and I thought that I was, I was going to be able to use the Mobile Studio Pro as a portable device where I can take on the train with me and do drawings and stuff like that, but it's not the case at all. It's kind of heavy. I think it's like seven pounds or something like that. Well, maybe not that heavy, but it is heavy. It sure as hell feels like seven pounds. It's not the most portable device that's out there, and I wouldn't recommend it if you were looking for something like that. Uh, also, it heats up, so you can't, it's, it's uncomfortable. You can't have this thing on your lap and the fans blowing all over the place, annoying the crap out of your neighbors and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, it's going to be interesting. I'm going to, I'll probably do a comparison. I mean, it makes sense if I'm going to have this thing. I'll do a comparison between the Mobile Studio Pro and the iPad. But yeah, anyway, next time you see me, I'll have the... A bag in my hand with an iPad Pro. I got it, check it out. In a bag. And I didn't anticipate this, but I needed a pencil as well. And that cost a lot of money. So, damn it. Another thing, I, I, th I didn't, I knew it didn't come in the box, but I never, through my, with my excitement and everything like that, I never considered that I had to actually buy the pencil as well. And that's a key point to it, so. Um, all right. All right, guys, so I just got home. I'm in my basement. I'm super excited. Um, I can't wait to actually do this test. So on the right side here, I have my iPad Pro. And on my left side, I have the Mobile Studio Pro. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw a simple head sketch um, on one first on the iPad Pro. I think I'll do that one first. And then I'm going to quickly just move over and then do the same head sketch on the Mobile Studio Pro. Um, for my purposes, what I am most looking forward to is how it handles line work because I just love drawing lines. Um, that's my thing. I, I, colors and stuff, I'm completely useless. Lights and all that. I, I'm eventually going to get better at that, but for now, I'm just concerned with line work. That's what I want to do. So uh, I'm going to pay close attention to that. I'm very curious. So I'm going to pan my camera down and um, I'll just do it like that. Immediately, the screen is just phenomenal, right? I'm really impressed by it. So this is what I mean. I'm gonna go and create a brand new composition. And I guess it remembers what I did. It remembered what I did last time. I did a 5,000 by uh, 2,048 pixels. That's a weird aspect ratio, but um, composition at 300 DPI, I believe. And um, I'm just gonna click that. And blammo, everything's quick. Um, Let's just go black. And I like to um, customize it, so I, I tried to mimic as much as I could my setup for my Mobile Studio Pro. Because I want um, a fair comparison between the two. And uh, all right, let's go. I'm just going to start drawing that a head sketch. I'll zoom in. And this is amazing. This 
just blows me away how easy that is to do. You couldn't do that. That's that's a problem right there. I'll go into it later. But you, you couldn't do this with a Mobile Studio Pro. Um, I mean, it has the functionality, it has the capabilities, but it's always, it's never this simple. Look how snappy that is. That's like, that's you might as well be having a, you know, a piece of paper in front of you. It's pretty awesome, but that is uh, pretty cool. I like that a lot. Okay, so I'm just gonna maybe just draw a head sketch. Um, I mean, it feels it feels amazing. Um, I actually haven't drawn anything on this yet, so this is the first time. I'm a bit shaky. I don't know if I'm nervous or it's because I don't have as much control. But uh, that sucks right there. Sometimes the pressure sensitivity gives out. I notice, just like it did right there. But I think it's very rare. At least I hope. gonna draw it really quickly because I have to do two of these one might look better than the other probably will I don't know which one will look better but we'll see okay anyway that's a rough I'm adjust the opacity everything is just so intuitive and that's what I like about it this program was built from the ground up um, for this device so it's not like Photoshop was which is um, kind of being shoehorned into um, a tablet, right? I don't know if that makes any sense. What am I doing? Make another layer on top. All right, cool. So I customized this pencil brush because I, ha I actually hate the textures that come um, stock with the. Uh, I'm using Procreate. Um, it's got. It tries to replicate like a pencil texture, and I, I can't stand that. I know some of you guys love it, but I, I hate it. So I'm gonna go into details. I mean, it's it's okay. It draws pretty good. I I think it's um the fact that the surface is really um slick. I don't know. I I can't put my finger on it. I can't. I feel really jittery. Like um I can't really. Hold on. Let me see. No, that's fine. I know that was an issue before. I guess, but that's totally fine. That's not it. It feels like, it almost feels like the lines are organic, like I'm just kind of pushing, pushing liquid around. I don't know if that makes any sense or not. It's, it's very weird to me. I mean, you, you can get straight lines with it, but it seems like, it seems a little bit slippery. From my experience right now. Maybe it's the brush that I'm using. But I'm just um, kind of talking as I, I'm drawing. It's the first things that come to my, my mind. And I think that's probably um, the most genuine way I can I can make this comparison is if I just um, talk over it as I'm going without having um, without giving myself too much time to think about it afterwards. If that makes sense. Yeah, I gotta get a matte screen protector on this. So um, feels really kind of loose, you know kind of loose but I love the screen it's um it actually feels to me bigger than the mobile studio pro 13 inch because the um the distance uh what is this vertical or horizontal whatever this way is a lot is a lot bigger than on the um the mobile studio pro but it's a lot it's uh what is it landscape landscape wise it's not as wide so they both I think have the same screen size if you, if you take that into account where the iPad Pro is, is oh no my child's coming down again great keep them up there just for maybe 10 minutes okay sorry about that guys I have a family I'm a family man yeah it's weird I'm pushing these lines around it and it feels they feel like they're wet like they're sloshing around it doesn't feel as solid as I remember uh, it being on the Mobile Studio Pro. And I do notice the, um, the uh, what is it, the pen pressure uh, difference. 
Um, it's not as it's not as varied as the Mobile Studio Pro. Does that make sense or not? It doesn't have as as much um, sensitivity or levels of sensitivity. So I'm just gonna finish this up real quick. I suck at drawing hair, by the way. Any of you guys know how to draw hair really good? Please tell me. I need some schooling on it. Okay. So I'm not gonna spend too much more time on this thing. And of course I would go in there and detail it more. Let's um, lock off that layer. And there you have it. You can get a pretty nice um, initial drawing. I'd probably go in there and, and detail some more, clean up the lines. But this pinching and zooming is phenomenal. You don't need a keyboard at all and I love that. It's, wow. It actually blows me away. I have no words for it. I, you, can, you can totally sit in the subway and, and do a drawing and be free of, of a keyboard and mouse. You, you don't need it. And I mean toggling, I guess that, yeah, that's the, the width of the, uh, the pen nib. And it's so intuitive, it's so easy, it's, it's right there. And this is probably opacity. Yeah, it is. Okay, so, I mean, and this is awesome too. You double tap and it, and it undoes, that's, that's the history. So this thing was built from the ground up for this device. And that's what makes it amazing. Um, the only knock uh, I have so far is just the, whoa, what the hell was that? Yeah, that just happened. Okay, I guess it lost pressure um, there for a minute. But yeah, the only, what was I saying? The only knock is the, I don't know if it's a slippery glass or, but I do notice that the, um, the ink itself, when you're drawing on it, it tends to, it feels slippery to me. If, not the screen, I'm not talking about the screen. I'm talking about the lines themselves. It's almost like, how do I describe it? It's almost like as if you were to take like a pool, like a, a droplet of blood and you took a toothpick and you dragged the toothpick over the blood and it, and it made a line. It almost feels like that. <laughs> I don't know how, I don't know why I just thought of that, but that's what it feels kind of like to me. If I can, I don't know if I can describe it, but overall really fun. I mean, a lot of it's, it's awesome. I mean, guys, you know, if you don't have the money to afford a mobile studio pro, this is a professional device and don't let anybody tell you otherwise. It's incredible. You can make drawings, you can make compositions up to 300 DPI, which is like perfect. I mean, maybe, prof let me see. I think a lot of um, professional, um, a lot of, uh, not professional, new canvas. Um, clients would prefer 600 DPI. All right, let's give that a shot. Next. No, wait. And there it is, 600 DPI, incredible. And it moves just as quickly, it's not laggy. Like the difference is if you did that in Photoshop, the bigger the image gets, the more laggier it gets, right? Because the file sizes would be ginormous. Now I don't know if I kept working on this and I made a full, full painting at 600 DPI, um, maybe that might lag it, I don't know. I haven't done that yet. And I also haven't tried coloring on this. I can't imagine it would be better than Photoshop, but I don't know. I've been uh, pleasantly surprised so far, but I like it. Other than the, um, the line quality, it's a bit dodgy sometimes. Um, pressure sensitivity is not as good as the Mobile Studio Pro. Anyway, I've done enough talking about that. Um, I'm going to shift it over to the Mobile Studio Pro. Give me a second. Oh, my camera doesn't turn off. It's 12 minutes. This might be a long movie, but I think it's worth it. I think it's important. So, I'm gonna do the same thing, same composition. Uh, size 300 DPI, uh, blah, 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 pixels. What is that in inches? 15 by 25. That seems good. Create. All right. So, that worked out really well, actually. <laughs> it never usually does, but the pinching and zooming in the Mobile Studio Pro is dodgy as hell. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. It is, and if any anybody says anything otherwise, then uh, they might they may have the best version of the Mobile Studio Pro ever. Like the uh, I might have a dud. I don't know. But anyway, let's get to drawing. Let's see. What do I got? Brush. What brush do I have? Okay, that's fine. I'll just get right into it because I don't want to waste any more time. Yeah. See. Immediately, I noticed the the difference 
in brush strokes. It's so smooth. It's it's really smooth and responsive. And am I capturing this? I feel that I am more precise with it. It's it's smoother. It's like it's not like I'm drawing on water. It's not sliding around. And the pinching and zooming is actually working out really well for some reason now. Making liar out of me. And I do pre I do prefer the um, the feel of the Wacom pen. It's um, it feels cheaper. I'll admit that, but it's a lot lighter. Okay, this drawing sucks. So because this drawing sucks, maybe the iPad Pro is better? I don't know. Maybe I'm getting tired. But anyway, you get the idea. Let's make another layer. Oh, shit. I made a mistake already. And I'm also more familiar with Photoshop too, so maybe um, it's a bit of an unfair advantage. But did you see how intuitive the, uh, the iPad Pro was? Um, not having used it much at all, I was still able to kind of um, maneuver my way around it really quickly. Probably even quicker than I'm doing now with, uh, with this device. Because what the hell is going on here? All of a sudden my quick keys aren't working. Okay. And that's another thing, I'm using a keyboard with this too, right? Do you see what I mean? Like you couldn't you couldn't really take this on the um, on the subway system. It's you know what guys? I have so much more control with this, I can't explain it. Um, the level pressure is so much better on the mobile studio pro as I'm drawing right now I notice it um, and I don't think I would have noticed it if I were to draw it if I were to do drawings like um, separately if I didn't do them one right after the other but it is very obvious when doing them one right after the other which is very surprising to me huh I am a bit shocked, actually, about how how clean this is, and the fact that I'm able to get cleaner lines. Sorry, guys, it, uh, my camera just died on me. But um, what was I saying? The fact that I can get cleaner, more precise lines makes me want to. draw more oddly enough it makes the drawing experience more enjoyable and I was expecting the opposite because I've been reading and I've been watching YouTube videos of um, reviewers doing doing the comparison between these two products they were saying that the um, what is it that the iPad Pro was more fun to draw with or to draw on and I'm finding right now with my experiences right now anyway um, that that's not true I look at that that line is so crisp it's like it's so nice it's so smooth I should say not crisp yeah, pinching and zooming is still a nightmare though I, I hate that about it if Wacom could fix that and make it just as good as the iPad Pro, I would be the happiest person in the world because I hate it right now. It's annoying as hell. I don't know, this, this face looks completely different from the other one. But anyway, I'm gonna wrap this up quickly because it's not important at this point. At this point, I'm just drawing for fun because I'm having fun drawing. But yeah. I mean, even if I zoomed in, like this, I 
everything is just a lot cleaner. I would have to do a lot less work to clean this up than I did, than I had to with the uh, iPad Pro, which is surprising to me, but awesome at the same time, right? That's why I do these things because I'm curious and I know a lot of you guys are curious as well. Um, and if I influence them, um, if I happen to influence buying habits, then whatever. I'm not here to endorse any of these products, right? I'm not loyal to any of it. None of these guys are paying me. I don't care. Uh, the only thing I care about is producing the best artwork the fastest, po the fastest way possible. And now I could take this and I can paint it. I can, I can color it because Photoshop is amazing for coloring. So that's already um, something that the Mobile Studio Pro has over the iPad. Okay, so there you have it. Um, interesting test. I did not expect that at all. But the iPad Pro is pretty awesome. It does a lot of things right uh, that the Mobile Studio Pro doesn't do quite well. Uh, but at the same time, the Mobile Studio Pro does a lot of things that the iPad doesn't do well. So who would benefit most from uh, each device, I say? If you are a professional, a concept artist, it's hard to bet against the Mobile Studio Pro. Just for the line quality, the different points of uh, pressure uh, sensitivities, it's just unmatched, it's unparalleled. I can't tell you how, how much smoother it is to draw on the Mobile Studio Pro than it is on the iPad Pro. Um, that's not slamming the iPad Pro. I mean, it does an amazing job, but when you compare them directly next to each other, like similar to how I did, uh, the the differences are huge and um, it's just hard to overlook that but on the other hand if you're looking for the perfect portable sketchbook um, <laughs> outside of it like a pencil and paper I guess but digital sketchbook I'm saying it's hard to bet against the iPad Pro and um, it is a professional device let me tell you I can see myself producing some some pretty some professional work on there let's just say it's um it's not for amateurs it's 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 for everybody i think it's amazing um how i how i see myself using it is uh, actually on the subway so uh i think i'm going to plan to um, i'm planning to take that on the subway just to kind of start the the line work and maybe um finish it to a certain extent and then saving it as a psd and putting it into the mobile studio pro to finish up uh cleaning the lines um maybe not cleaning the lines i'm sure i can get clean lines with the uh, ipad i just have to mess around with the brushes a little bit more but I think it'll get there. Um, but yeah, so if you already have a Mobile Studio Pro, you know whether it be 13 or 16 inch, and you're thinking, is there something better out there? Should I get the iPad Pro? I've been hearing a lot of amazing things about um, from other professionals. I would say just save your money for now. It's um, that's the best device, hands down. But um, if you want, if you're like me and you want to draw on the go, and the Mobile Studio Pro isn't a viable uh, solution because it really isn't. It just heats up. It just blows hot air all over the place. Then um, the iPad Pro is pretty awesome. So I'm gonna put in a few more hours into it. Um, you know, I'm gonna have to be honest. It's a bit of an unfair uh, comparison because I've only had a couple hours with the iPad versus a couple, not a couple, a few months with the Mobile Studio Pro. So my opinions might change after. So uh, my next test is I'm gonna see if I can complete a drawing on the way to work or, or on the way fr uh, from work. So that'll be the real test. If I can pull that off, then I think I'm gonna keep it. But uh, if I can't, then I find it's very cumbersome still, then um, I, I see no point in having both devices. I'm just gonna stick with the, um, the one that creates the best lines. And that's, um, well, I already told you, it's the Mobile Studio Pro. But um, yeah, that's where I stand. Um, I hope it's been helpful. I thought that doing it this way would be the most genuine, genuine way to get my impressions um, immediately um, before I had time to, you know, test them both out uh, privately and then, you know, sit on it for a night and just think about it. Um, I thought doing it this way would be the most genuine, um, and I hope you guys appreciate that. But I think I'm going to close off there. I don't want to make the video too long. But if you like it, give it a thumbs up and uh, follow me. I also have an Instagram account that I just started, and I'm posting artwork on there as well as I go along. So I'm just going to put it down here somewhere. It's going to be like a bug or something like that. But all right. Thanks again. And um, I guess I'll see you next time.